Hey everyone, Endort here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to easily fix the Valorant error code 51 in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the blue check for updates button. Now Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC and install them automatically. Afterwards, just restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to troubleshoot the internet connections. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on System on the left pane. Now on the right side, just scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and click on it. The next thing you have to do is click on Other Troubleshooters and afterwards make sure to click on the Run button next to Internet Connections. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Another great solution is to restart the VGC service. First of all, what you have to do is press the Windows button then simply type services.msc and select it as a search result. Personally, I don't have the Valorant game installed, so this service might not show up. But what you have to do is similar with what I will show you. So what you have to do is simply scroll down and locate the VGC service, right-click on it and select the Restart option. Afterwards, you can simply close the services window, restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to update the network driver. To do this, right-click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. Now, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand the network adapters by double-clicking on it and then simply right-click on your network device. Afterwards, select the Update Driver option and lastly, click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. You can then restart the PC and check if the issue still persists. And that's it! Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.